Hey there guys, James here. Today I am reviewing the Genos kernel which I have been using with the Pixel 4 port in the long term. I have made a video on the ROM recently. If you want to know more about the ROM then do check out my video on that. I have been also using this kernel with MIUI 12. Ok, I was using MIUI when the kernel first came out. Initially it caused one very minor bug with MIUI that the data counter was not working. But I was shocked how quickly an update came and patched up the problem. I was also surprised to see how often updates and tweaks came for this kernel. I was not a fan of custom kernels till now and used to stick to the ones that came with the ROM. Now though, I am a convert. I am a fan of this kernel. Now let's take a look at this kernel. Installing it is very easy. Just visit the site that I have linked in the description. Download the kernel as well as the Genos app. Simply flash the kernel zip and install the app and you are all set to go. Let's jump into the application first. Straight away you see some basic information like your battery wear, CPU temperature, kernel version and so on. Below that is a profile switcher. This is where it gets really interesting. There is a tab on the right with some extra options. ESD protection stands for electrostatic discharge. I have noticed no difference in touch performance myself so I have left it on the default option. There is also an option to enable different touch drivers if you are a person who is facing touch issues. Luckily I don't have such issues so I have not enabled it. You also get an FPS meter and lift to wake built into the app. If you want full speed charging that does not slow down if the phone heats up then you have the option to disable charging thermals. But beware that this can cause excessive battery wear. Now let's talk about the kernel itself. Coming to daily use, the kernel is very flexible. The experience and app learn speeds felt great. The main selling point of this kernel is its flexibility. Open Xenos app and you'll get 4 switchable profiles, balance, performance, battery and gaming. I know many other kernels are out there that support spectrum profiles. But I have not used any such kernels recently, so I am reviewing this kernel independently. The profile that I use most is Balance and Game. Balance is a good intermediate profile. It's an all-rounder which can also be used for casual gaming. There was no stutters or lags in Balance. Coming up next is my favorite profile which is Gaming. Let's get this clear. This kernel is a beast. Almost no frame drops or lags, very good touch response and consistent performance. It gives out extra heating but if you want to get that extra performance, you will have to put up with that. Apart from performance, there is one more thing I like about the gaming profile, that's a charging speed limit. I usually game in long sessions and end up falling back to the charger to keep gaming. Gaming causes more heating and so does fast charging. Both of these combined can mess up your battery longevity real quick. In Genos, they have reduced charging speed in gaming profile which reduces one extra element of heating thus preventing throttling as well as extended battery longevity. I like the fact that the developers are giving priority to the device health as well. They could have gone the extra mile and they could have chosen to give us more performance at the expense of device health. But that's not a good choice and I'm glad that the developers made the right choice here. Even if you guys don't want to be switching profiles every now and then, you can simply leave it in balance profile and get an excellent all-rounder experience. Speaking of choices, this kernel is something I'd choose any day. This kernel will suit every type of user out there from casual users to power users as well as gamers. I highly recommend that you guys go for this kernel. I've gotten impressive flexibility with both ROMs I've used with this kernel. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any suggestions, feel free to drop a comment. See you guys in the next video.